Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Unscripted and Unchained RPG Review. I am Game Master Bloodworth and as you can see by the graphics, uh, this video is a, uh, is a response video uh, as well as a, uh, a clarification video. So um, I'm responding to uh, you know at least one other YouTuber out there who uh, did not watch my live stream uh, last night and drew some uh, false assumptions uh, or false conclusions from just the title of my uh, my live stream last night and I, I wanted to make some clarifications uh, you know with this video here uh, if he had actually watched the live stream he would have you know realized that uh, I was making a statement more related to what is down here, separating the product from the controversies of its creator or its marketing. Uh, and basically what I was arguing in that, uh, in that live stream, and I had reiterated it about five times during that live stream, was that um, at least it seems to me that the attacks on the OSR, uh, old school, whether you call it revival or renaissance or role-playing or, or rules is up to you, but um, that the attacks are almost never about the game mechanics. They're, they're almost always directed at controversies generated by, um, by the authors uh, themselves and usually um, disconnected from the game product itself, but more so to things that they say on the, um, you know, on social media outside of gaming. Um, and, and that applies to independent games as well. Uh, and that was my argument was, was that the products themselves aren't generating controversies. It's the, um, and, and the controversies aren't generally uh, being uh, generated by people who play the games or, you know, are, are very involved in playing various games within the OSR sphere or the independent gaming sphere, uh, but usually from outsiders, you know, and in some cases from those that have uh, self-selected to remove themselves from the OSR, um, you know, because the, the OSR can't kick someone out, um, you know, just as, you know, as any game, uh, you know, or game developer or publisher can't come and say, well, don't buy my product. If someone's going to buy your product and run your product, you know, there's nothing that you can do to prevent that. Or, you know, I've seen some that'll say, um, you know, if you buy this product, this is the way it must be run. And again, there's no power to actually do that. Um, but with the OSR and independent gaming, I see less controversy uh, revolving around the game mechanics themselves. And that's regardless of, of which... Uh, which game is generating controversy around it. So I'm going to switch views here and I'm just going to go through a few because I mentioned them and I'm going to show, you know, each of these up here. And, and these are certainly not those that are, um, in, in many cases, the best examples, but they're certainly the ones that I own. So Lamentations of the Fra Flame Princess, uh, you know, often comes up. And I said during my live stream, and I'll say it here again, you know, when when I looked at this, and, and of course this was coming up on, on Facebook as well, uh, as Twitter and, and most likely Reddit, which I really don't visit. But um, I actually got into a, um, you know, a back and forth, but not in a negative way with uh, Zach Smith uh, talking where, you know, I made the comment, uh, you know, that uh, the attacks aren't necessarily coming from within and uh, within the OSR. And he said, oh, no, to the contrary, some OSR and independent creators were uh, were pushing the cancel culture 
uh, at the time as well. So he says so it definitely was coming from within. But again, those attacks weren't about the product. You know, uh, they were about the people responsible for the product. They were talking about behaviors and such outside of the books themselves. You know, and when I started to take a look at this and I said, well, let me see, there is nothing but game mechanics in this. You know, so if you haven't looked at this um, or you haven't looked at it in quite some time, it really is quite shocking that from, you know, page one, you know, of, of the content through to the very last page, it is nothing but rules and, and game mechanics. Uh, there is no forward, there is no epilogue, there is no, uh, you know, there's nothing in here talking about, even in general, what is role-playing. Not here at all. It's just the game mechanics of it. So any controversy surrounding, uh, whether it be, you know, James Raggy or the artists that worked on here, Zach Smith or, or whatnot, uh, those controversies are surrounding the individuals, not the product. Uh, I can say the same thing for, you know, machinations of a space princess, uh, of the space princess, uh, done by Grim Jim. Um, nothing really controversial about the game mechanics of this, uh, and yet the author, um, it generates controversy surrounding, you know, him and some of his views and, you know, very strong political views that he does have. And so it does generate controversy around it, but it has nothing to do with the game. I can go to Wretched Space, you know, and, and talk about uh, Miguel and, um, you know, and, and the people that are working with, with Miguel um, uh, his wife, I'm sorry, it just slipped my mind. Uh, but they are, um, you know, a uh, Sylvia, sorry. So Miguel and Sylvia, and again, the game mechanics themselves are not what's generating the controversy. Uh, it's the, it's some of their stances on social media that are political stances that, uh, you know, oftentimes, and in their case, and, and, Probably in uh, Grim Jim's case as well, you have the um, you have two different viewpoints. You have a European viewpoint and of of looking at various things, and you know versus an American viewpoint, which many of us are are coming from. So uh, sometimes the the meanings of things are a little bit different. They're more um, they're more regional uh, differences in uh, as opposed to actual differences. But uh, I know this name comes up every once in a while um, as far as, uh, well, his views are controversial and everything, and that's the RPG Pundit. Um, and But again, looking at Lion and Dragon, nothing at all wrong with the, with the game system, its mechanics, its, uh, its presentation, uh, its marketing, uh, you know, straight up, it's, there's nothing wrong with the game system. Uh, any controversies that are created are from the RPG pundits' points of view about things, whether it be about gaming and 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 that, uh, as well as any political point of views he might also have. Um, I didn't want to pull up Chalt because uh, I didn't want a huge book sitting on my desk here, but you know, Alpha Blue by uh, Venture Satanus. Um, is it edgy? Absolutely. Um, now, Venture Satanus is a little bit different because uh, sometimes in some of his uh, in some of his smaller works, uh, he has inserted uh, politics into it, and so you can point to you know at least one of his products that um, you know that was certainly a political product, uh, but. The other 90% or more of what he has produced, you know, game mechanics wise, there's nothing to, you know, really point to it. Now, <coughs> we have, we have Mifrog, right? So, um, 
Uh, I mean, its author certainly controversial personally. Um, the the game system, especially in its n most recent iterations, have uh, have changed over from that first edition. And yes, there were controversial political issues in the uh, in the first edition of that, but they have since over the you know over the eight or ten years or so uh, since its initial releasing have um, you know have have changed have evolved have gone beyond that and when you look at just the core mechanics of this game system they're pretty solid core mechanics and aren't going to generate the kind of controversy that um, you know, that most people will attribute to the game system as opposed to its creator. So, and, and virtually none of these have any marketing issues. You know, so no, uh, no bait and switches, no, um, you know, when you buy this, you're buying this, uh, you know, with the, you know, and I retain the ability to change it in some way. So, or you're only renting this, kind of thing so there's there's that like the marketing has nothing to do with any of these uh as opposed to uh you know the bigger corporations obviously so that was the argument that i was uh attempting to make and uh i create a separation between the art and the artist um you know otherwise you end up eliminating so much from what uh, you're going to uh, experience in whatever you know endeavor you're looking to do, um, you know I don't I don't hate a team uh, in professional sports because one player on that team is uh, you know is what I consider to be uh, you know a deplorable human being, you know uh, uh, I don't. Uh, I don't not watch a movie, you know, uh, just because uh, one of the actors is someone who I politically disagree with. Um, and, um, you know, I don't pass up looking at a game system uh, just because uh, the author I might not agree with uh, politically as well. The only exception I make to that is I allow and I acknowledge and follow when a creator says, if you are X, Y, and Z, don't buy my product. Um, so I will accept that. You know, when they are self-canceling, you know, and telling you, um, if you vote this way, don't, don't buy my product, you know, uh, then then that I don't see as a uh, as an issue of separating the person from the product. You know, I see it as an issue of if you really don't want me to buy your product, I'm certainly not going to give you my money to do so. You know, and and we often in in the circles that I travel in will say, you know, don't give money to people who hate you. Uh, and so that's what I really wanted to do was to just kind of clarify uh, if it was unclear, um, you know, if anyone, you know, had just seen the, the title of that live stream but didn't really sit through and listen to parts of it. Uh, my argument was not that there are, there is no controversy around SR or independent gaming. Uh, my argument is that uh, a vast majority, um, or even a super majority of the controversies are around the individuals and, and their behaviors often outside of gaming altogether. And that's uh, what I'm talking about. And that's what I was talking about then. That is what I'm reiterating now is that, um, you know, 
if you watch my videos or you watch my live streams, you know, uh, th this was another thing I wanted to point out. Um, my live streams and my videos are oftentimes, they're not scripted. Uh, that's why it's called unscripted and unchained. And I really don't hold back on, on what I uh, intend to say or, you know, whatnot. I usually stand by exactly what I say. That doesn't mean I can't be convinced that I'm wrong or something like that. But, you know, I generally back up what I say, uh, you know, with uh, my own belief and um and i stand by you know virtually everything that i say unless i am proven to be wrong which is something i'm willing to accept um you know so that's the first thing and my my live streams are very uh are very fluid they're very you know if if people are commenting and and putting in um you know, putting in ideas and, and making their comments and I'm picking up on them, you know, I could shift my opinion right there live. Um, you know, I, I can, I can, you know, always stand to be corrected, you know, and I just wanted to show, you know, one of the things that I saw. So I'm going to share this here. And uh, this is, uh, you know, this was from that live stream, right? And we had, you know, we had some commenters in here and I just wanted to pick up on uh, one of the, uh, well, more than one of the comments that really stuck out to me, but um, I, I really like this one from Jeff here that says, uh, the OSR benefits from the simple fact because it slips under the pop culture radar and the woke types are not interested because it is not worth their time to exploit. Now, um, to a certain extent, I agree with that. I, I you know, I believe that, um, you know, there, these are really small niche games and, and not everyone is really that focused on them. And so it kind of benefits from that fact that it is small and under the radar. And I absolutely agree. Um, we have here right on the, on the screen here, only Gygax era TSR had any real gaming culture where things actually got tested by decision makers, video games are facing the same problem. Uh, and again, that goes to the, the idea of, uh, you know, marketing and, and game design, uh, that is something that can cause controversy. Uh, so he's kind of making that point there as well. Uh, and, uh, there were many, many others. There were a heck of a lot of comments during this uh, two-hour live stream, which I tend to, I tend to try to keep my live streams. I'll switch views here. I tend to like to keep my live streams about two hours long, uh, and uh, and go with that. So, um, I hope this clarifies things uh, for anyone who was uh, didn't have the time yet to watch that live stream. Uh, again, I'm not saying that the OSR and, uh, you know, and the indie, independent tabletop role-playing uh, games out there are, uh, are controversy-free. You know, I was just saying that their products aren't generating that controversy, uh, but it is people that are generating that controversy. And sometimes the controversies are false. They're, they're just... Uh, made up by outsiders, you know, whether they're self-selected outsiders or they're people that have never been involved in playing these older games and, and they're just throwing shade at something that they know they're not a part of. And so, uh, and so I'll leave it at there. So a little bit of a clarification. I hope you, uh, you know, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, please feel free to comment in there and, uh, you know, um, again, positive or negative, that's fine. Now, getting to that, uh, I've actually been having a back and forth, again, not in a negative way, with a commentator on uh, one of my older videos when I was talking about the, um, the disclaimer that Wizards of the Coast has placed on their drive through RPG. Like, yes, once again, this is coming up, but... I've never done a live stream and brought people in, or at least I don't recall if I have, 
uh, you know, to bring people in to, and to actually talk about it. So I invited this individual to come in on a stream, uh, although originally I was going to plan for next Thursday, I'm thinking I'm going to do a live stream on that topic this Sunday. So uh, if you're available this Sunday, I, I haven't posted it up yet, but I, I'm planning on doing so. You know, this Sunday, 7.30 p.m. Eastern Time, I will be putting up a uh, an advertisement for a uh, live stream on uh, on the topic of the disclaimer that Wizards of the Coast has on its own products that it owns on drive through RPG, which is really bizarre to me. Um, but so that we can start talking about that and and possibly, you know, find where uh, a number of different viewpoints uh, can come together and see that and, and we can go back and forth and discuss that as well. So um, as always, uh, thanks for joining. I hope you enjoyed this video. I look forward to seeing you on a gaming screen sometime soon or at a convention. My next convention is in January, so I have quite a ways to go before then. Um, enjoy your upcoming weekend. And um, yeah, just keep on gaming out there. And, you know, just remember that um, this is a hobby that we can all enjoy. And, um, and the more different types of games that you're playing and the more diversity in, uh, you know, in what you're opening yourself up for as far as uh, game genres and game systems and game companies and everything uh, is only going to make you, uh, you know, far, uh, a far better player, a far better game master and, and just a, you know, just a much more stronger um, connection to the hobby itself uh, the more that you've you know spread your wings you know in essence and and really broadened your horizon so uh, that's something that I've always said and I've been saying it for you know quite some time now and as as often as I can um, because I really do think it's important for us all to uh, you know, to broaden our horizons and, and to interact uh, with uh, not just our little own little niche bubbles of, of uh, you know, common friends and everything, but to also, you know, get out there and, and get in touch with new people and such. So um, I'm going to leave it at that. Thanks for joining. Have a great day. Take care.